What's going on, everybody? In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you the top 10 items that you should be selling on eBay for complete beginners. If you don't know me, my name's Steve. I've been selling on eBay, Amazon, tons of locations for the last almost seven years now. And in this video, I wanted to create a piece of content that would share with you 10 items that could probably 2x to 5x your money going to thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, Facebook marketplace. There's so many places that you can find these items. So I'm going to actually bring you into my computer and share with you these 10 items. I'm going to share with you what they are, how much you could pay for them, how much they sell for, and essentially how you can make money flipping these items on eBay. A lot of people don't realize it, but we have thousands of dollars worth of stuff at our house, but even more at thrift stores and garage sales and auctions that you can make money with. So if you're watching this video live right now or the replay, drop a comment down below, smash that like button because I am going to, I'm about to drop some knowledge that is going to definitely make you some money. So with that being said, let's dive right into this video and we are going to go into my computer and talk about the first item. All right, so bear with me one moment. Okay, perfect. Let's jump right into it. All right, so the first item that I want to talk about right now are these Disney Pixar toys, okay? So this was probably two years ago. I was actually on eBay, and if you don't know, you can actually buy items off of eBay and flip them back on eBay, right? This is called online arbitrage, and I bought a whole lot of over a thousand. I think it was close to 2000 Disney Pixar items. Now these things, if they're brand new in the box can sell for a ton of money, but even used, they can go for really good money. And here's an example of one that sold for $149.99. Now trying to remember what I paid for that lot of a thousand. I think I might've paid close to $5,000 for all of those. And I probably made 5X my money on that. I mean, we had some super rare items in there that was on for two to 300, but consistently I was selling these items for 30 to $50 each. Now they were all brand new. If they're used, you're probably looking five, 10, 15 bucks each. But if you go to a garage sale or whatnot, you could definitely scoop some of these up and uh, make some really good money. The second item to be on the lookout for as a complete beginner selling on eBay. And this is definitely going to be true at estate sales, uh, auctions, especially auctions. Um, and even on Facebook marketplace or Craigslist, and that's any type of weird vintage. Um, I'm trying to explain like some of these things go in gardens. Some of these things go in, um, like around your landscaping, but this right here, it's a large pig, Turkey chicken. It's cast iron. So it's kind of like a decoration piece, a decoration piece, um, you know, the keywords in this say cast iron shooting gallery target. Let me go into the description really quick. Uh, this is a lot of three cast iron shooting tar targets. So this is a really interesting item right here. Now, this is something you're probably not going to come across all the time, but look at this. This is weird. This is unique. This is different. And these are the types of things that could sell really well on eBay. Now I'm definitely not an expert when it comes to these items right here, but when I was going through the sold listings and looking at some of the items that sold, I was like, wow, this is definitely one of those items that um, can definitely sell for good money because you're not going to come across them often. They're not going to sell these really in the store stores anymore. They could be nostalgic to certain people and uh, definitely an interesting item right here. Next up, our old Sony electronic items. Okay. So this is a DVD VCR combo that sold for $79.95. Now I find these things all the time um, at Goodwill and Savers for five to 10 bucks. Matter of fact, I was just at a flea market and there were a whole bunch of these for sale. You could, you could easily pick these things up for five or $10. They sell really well on eBay. They sell really well on Amazon. Now I do want to say, if you are going to be picking these items up, make sure that you test them. You want to test, test, and test some more because some of these items have issues, uh, defects, and you do not want to be selling on eBay items that are broken, that aren't working correctly, unless you sell it as parts because you're going to get negative feedback. You're going to get returns. You're going to lose money. And these types of items right here are not cheap to ship. So my best advice is to find the model number. So typically on the back or at the bottom, you'll be able to find the model number. This is SLV D300P. Type that into eBay, see what it's selling for. If you could pick these things up for four, five, six, seven dollars and flip them for 60 to 100, that's where the money is going to be made. Um, this one, for example, was 
free shipping. So it probably cost them 20 or 30 bucks to ship. Depends where. So if you pick it up for five bucks, there's still enough meat on the bone. But you'd be surprised. Go into the eBay sold listings and look up old vintage Sony items. They can make really, really good money for you. The next item I want to talk about is DVDs. Now, this item already uh, was listed and sold. It sold for $85. And I want to talk about old Nickelodeon DVDs. I just picked up a couple of these myself from my local savers. I think I paid like 4 or $5 each. They were a little pricey. Um, but those things sold for over, I think over 50 or $60 each. And I never knew this until I, until I came across it um, at my thrift store and I was just scanning the barcodes and I was like, wow, are you serious? Like these Nickelodeon items sell for that much. And if you go into the sold listings and look up, just look up Nickelodeon DVDs, they sell for a lot of money. If anyone's watching right now, or if you're in the comments, let me know, why are these things selling for so much? And, and, you know, as an eBay seller, you don't have to worry about why they're selling. You just literally have to find the items that are selling. Well, look for DVDs. I love trying to find the, uh, the DVDs that are like a box set, the seasons. If there's more than one DVD in it, they typically sell a lot better for one reason or another. If you can find them new, that's really where you want to be. But, uh, you know, as in this example, this is a used DVD sold for $85 Nickelodeon. How cool is that? Next up, we have vintage stickers. So I was actually in a Facebook group the other day, and I didn't know that vintage stickers sold for this much, but this was an item that I discovered. And this is something that an eBay beginner can definitely be on the lookout for. Maybe, you know, maybe you have them laying around at home. Uh, maybe your parents just never used them when you were a kid, or maybe you're at a thrift store or um, an estate sale and you find a whole bunch of stickers, pick them up. Oh my Lord. Vintage stickers. I started diving and doing some research. These things can sell for a ton of money. Now this is a lot of two vintage 1980 uh, rainbow people stickers, $315 and 99 cents, $315 for these stickers. Wow. Talk about an investment. You know, imagine if your, your grandmother, or your grandfather was a collector of these stickers, right? Maybe you spent, maybe they got a collection of a hundred, 200 vintage stickers. <laughs> That's like a retirement chunk right there. How cool is that? $315 research these things. They can make you some big money. Next up. I want to talk about vintage books. Um, just like the DVDs and box sets, they sell best. If you can find box sets of books, especially the vintage ones, they can do really, really well on eBay. Check out these books right here, the Little Golden uh, Book Series. Um, this is a box set, has four books in it. These are the types of items. If you go to a garage sale and you see a box set of vintage books, um, or you're in a state sale or an auction, or sometimes on Craigslist or Facebook Marketplace, people are cleaning out. Um, storage units, you know, if you see vintage books, especially the box sets, they can make really, really good money. Now, if you've been following me for any period of time, you know that I love to sell books on Amazon. That's probably my favorite place, but certain book listings aren't going to be on Amazon or they just won't sell as well as eBay. If it's a vintage item, they sold for $79.95. This is something you could pick up at an estate sale or a garage sale at a thrift store. For probably sub $5 and flip it for $79.95, you'll be able to ship that media mail. So this is a great item to be on the lookout for books. Again, I love selling books on Amazon primarily, but with vintage books, box set books, a lot of these things do extremely well on eBay. Next up, I want to talk, a brand, talk about a brand called Salvatore Ferragamo. This is a brand that um, you could find within different types of clothing, shoes, uh, ties, scarves, all different types of items. I think scarves, but, um, I flipped shoes multiple times. I flipped ties multiple times. And uh, matter of fact, I just picked up this brand in a tie the other day for a quarter. The brand is Salvatore Ferragamo. Usually you'll find this in women's. Um, you, you could also find it in men's. I don't find men's stuff as often, but this stuff sells like hotcakes. Okay, this pair of loafers size 10 and a half sold for $250 on eBay. You can pick this up at a thrift store for probably sub $20, $25. If you're buying shoes, make sure it's in good condition. Um, research the various sizes. Uh, look up the model number. Make sure it's not beat to pieces, which it'll still sell. But uh, just do your research. And when it comes to the ties, 
the Salvatore, Salvatore Ferragamo ties, look for the ones that are themed. Maybe they have a particular pattern of animals or maybe there's bright or vibrant colors. The stuff that's weird and unique, that stuff sells the best. Okay. So this is a seventh item, Salvatore Ferragamo. Look for shoes, look for clothing, look for ties. Literally anything in this brand sells extremely well. Next on deck, we have a Tyco vintage phone. Vintage phones could make you a lot of money. Now, this is a really uh, unique one. First of all, it's a vintage phone. It's Tyco and it's Garfield, right? Who would not want a vintage Garfield phone? I mean, look at this guy. He looks so happy. This sold for $99. And I'll tell you right now, the pictures aren't that good. They're fuzzy. The cords are all kind of scrambled up. This is a fuzzy picture. It doesn't even look that great. And it looks like the eyes open up. How cool is that? Sold for $99 plus $12 shipping. Look out for vintage phones. If you're ever at a, uh, a garage sale or at a flea market, just look them up. Now, the stuff that's like bright colors tend to do the best. Um, some of the old vintage phones, even they light up or they have like an LED built into it. Those do really well. Um, the crazy colors, the vintage colors, if it's themed, you know, this one was themed Garfield. This stuff could make you um, some really awesome profits. Uh, the ninth item to look out for is anything vintage Coca-Cola. So, you know, my grandfather, he had passed recently, rest in peace. And, uh, we were cleaning out his house, we're getting ready for an estate sale. And, uh, you know, obviously I went through and picked a whole bunch of stuff out first. And, uh, you know, he had a whole collection of Coca-Cola bottles, vintage bottles, um, anything Coca-Cola vintage sells really well. So what we did is we pulled them all out. We cleaned them all up and we put them on eBay and we're going to, you know, restore them and bring them back into the community, which is huge because I know my grandfather, he would have wanted me to do that and not just trash them all. So, um, yeah, this is a vintage Coca-Cola lamp, $149.99. I'm telling you, if you're ever at a thrift store and a state sale and you come across these items, obviously make sure that the glass isn't all broken or destroyed, but even some of these things can sell for parts. 150 bucks right here. And this is the bread and butter. This is the type of stuff that you want to be on the lookout for as a beginner eBay seller. This stuff sells fast. It brings a lot of heat, a lot of viewers in the eBay store, and just it sells really, really well. All right. Number 10, look out for old concert tickets or just tickets in general to old baseball games, basketball games. Now, this is going to be the type of stuff you probably find at a flea market or maybe at an old garage sale, definitely at an estate sale. Um, this is a, a Beatles ticket. You're probably never going to find one of these. <laughs> this is so rare. But I just wanted to share this with you because if you go into the eBay sold listings and you look up old tickets, a lot of these things can sell um, extremely well and they sell fast. They bring a lot of heat into your store. They're memorable. They're nostalgic. And uh, people like to frame these. They like to put them on their wall. They like to, you know, show them off. They like to relive their past. And uh, yeah, old vintage tickets, even some of the more current tickets from a couple of years ago, especially if your team, you know, had won the championship or something interesting happened during that year. You know, I live in Connecticut. We have the Yukon uh, Huskies over here. Some of those tickets sell really well. Um, the old ones, if you save them, we have the, uh, the Hartford Wolf pack. We used to have the whalers over here. If you have tickets or any memorabilia around that stuff, it can sell for some really, really good money. So those are the 10 items that I wanted to, uh, share with you guys. And those are 10 items that literally anybody can pick up thrift stores, garage sales, auctions, estate sales, uh, we got a comment coming coming in from uh, Mary McQueen says, I've even found vintage books at the bins. So what Mary is talking about is the bins at Goodwill. So, you know, Goodwill has these outlet stores where they, they pull out the bins. You could buy them based on the weight. And uh, yeah, just a lot of money in books for sure. Sebastian's asking, are these buy it now sold prices? So yeah, the ones that I shared with you were all buy it now. If you're wondering, should I be an auction? Should I run auctions or should I run buy it now? It depends. Um, you know, there's pros and cons to both of them. I like buy it now with the best offer just to get a higher price. But the thing with auctions is they'll bring a lot more heat into your store. And as of late, I've noticed if you get more impressions on your store, if you get more people coming in, if you, if you sell items faster, even for a lower price, the algorithm tends to favor you. So definitely something to consider. We got third coast picking and flipping. In the house, Amari, good to see you. 
Uh, we got Mary in the house. Lots of people watching right now. So appreciate you tuning in. So I want to know right now, if you're a brand new eBay seller, or maybe you've been selling on eBay for a while, what are your, what are your favorite items to flip, right? Another great item to be on a lookout for are baseball gloves, right? One of my favorite brands is Mizuno. Certain brands or certain models can sell for 50, 60, 70 bucks. Here's an item that I actually picked up. I'll be sharing it in another one of my video is these electronic games, okay? Um, this is a Trivial Pursuit NASCAR. This thing's not worth a ton, but if you find some of the, the Yahtzees or the poker electronic games, those, those can sell for a ton. Also, another item I want to share with you is toner, ink, right? Stuff for the printer. Oh, got my alarm going off. Uh, all right, all right. So we've got some ink. This right here, I spent 25 bucks for. This is selling right now for over $75. So there's all different types of items that you can flip. Um, magazines. Yes, I love selling magazines. If you haven't seen it on my uh, channel yet, I put up a new video sharing, I believe 10 or 15 magazines that sell well. And I'm not a expert when it comes to magazines, but guess what? After I made that video and I studied the sold listings, I found a bunch of boys life magazines at a garage sale for free that I would have never picked up before. So these types of videos can make you a lot of money if you just take notes and go out and apply it. Um, let's see. Maricela has found an autograph ticket to a semifinals basketball game at Goodwill once. Interesting you want to get it authenticated. I'd be, I don't have a lot of experience with that, but I'm sure that could uh, definitely increase the value. Hey, Rakin, this channel helps a lot. Awesome. From the UK, he says. So great to have you here. We got the UK in the house. You know, I was talking about this earlier on uh, one of my live streams and you know, it's true. If you learn the skill of buying items from thrift stores, garage sales, estate sales. If you learn the skill of selling on eBay, Amazon, Poshmark, Facebook marketplace, you'll never be poor again because there's always going to be items out there that people want to get rid of. There's always going to be items that end up at garage sales. There's always going to be items that end up at thrift stores. There's always going to be somebody who wants to sell something and it's trading. That's what it comes down to at the end of the day. It's you're learning the skill to find undervalued items and trade it retail, trade it at a higher price. And you know, these types of videos, I'm telling you, if you have a YouTube channel, make these videos, share your knowledge, share your information, because there's so much potential out there running an eBay business, running an Amazon business. And hopefully these 10 items, you know, I get comments all the time. Hey, I watched your video from eight months ago, you know, where you shared 10 action figures that sell on eBay. And I found a whole lot today at an estate sale. I'm going to make $400. Like I love those comments. I absolutely love them. RNL Sports Card says my first deal was last week. Picked up some $3 Birkenstock sandals and sold them for 75 bucks. Birkenstock is a great brand. I've flipped them multiple times. Um, you know, either these thrift stores or garage sale owners, they'll sell them for super high prices because they're expensive or sometimes they don't even know what they have. Be on the lookout for the sandals and the shoes. Um you know, there's just, there's so much potential in shoes. There's so much potential in clothing just because there's so many brands out there. So let me know again in the comments, what's your favorite item to sell on eBay? What do you like to flip the most? What do you like to go after the most? Um, even share a success story down in the comments. What's something that you've picked up and sold recently? Would love to know. Oh, here's another great one. Tamara says, Fishing lures are my niche. I've sold some for a hundred to eight hundred dollars. That's interesting because when I'm at garage sales, I always hear people coming up. Um, they're looking, for, hey, are you selling any weapons? Are you selling any video games? Are you selling any knives? Are you selling any fishing equipment? Are you selling any jewelry? So I know there's big, big money in the fishing lures. And I'm curious, uh, Tamara, um, what type of fishing lures sell best? Maybe we could jump on a, on a, on a live stream one day and, and go over some of the best fishing lures. I would love to learn about that. My dad, he's a really big fisherman action figures. Oh, there's money made in action figures. Uh, Gene, I'm going to just shorten your name. Gene, uh, I found a hero quest a week after watching your games video hero quest. 
Who here has found a hero quest? I've flipped hero quest multiple times. If you're not buying and selling board games, whew, you are crazy. There is big, big money to be made in board games. Used ones as well. Sebastian's asking any tips on dealing with seller remorse. I tend to find stuff that I like. I buy it with the intention to sell, but when time comes, I get attached and keep it. So I actually never struggle with this. Um, and I know that doesn't help you, but, uh, my best friend Vinny, he, uh, he's a collector at heart and it sounds like you're somewhat of a collector as well. So I'll kind of share how he handles this. I mean, what he does is he, he holds on to it, plays, it, plays for it, uh, plays with the item for a little bit and then kind of cycles it out as new inventory comes in. So I'm not a huge collector for me. I'm, you know, I'm raking profit. I'm trying to make that money. Um, I'm picking and making that money. That's what I do. I don't really get attached to it. I'm, I'm very unemotional to it. So I guess I would just, just keep cycling things in and out. And you have to keep in mind, like why you're doing this. Um, I noticed that a lot of collectors are broke, um, for some reason and it's because they never sell their stuff. They just keep holding on to it. So you've got to ask yourself, what's the reason why you're selling on eBay? If you're just doing it for fun and you have a full-time job where you're doing it just as a hobby to collect items and play with different items and toys and stuff, then don't feel too bad about it. But if you're in it to make money, if you're in it to help your kids get a college tuition, or you're in it for a vacation for your family, or you're in it for, you know, you don't want to be broke anymore. You're sick and tired of clocking in, clocking out, then keep that at the forefront of your mind because the way that you build your business is listing items and selling items. So if you're just holding on to things or growing a huge death pile, it's going to be tough to reach your goals. Terry says, I've done great with books in the last few weeks, bought a lot of gun books from marketplace and made my money back on the first book. Other two totes are just profit. And that's one of the, the best things about books. You know, I, uh, I one of the videos that I pre-recorded, it's going to come out next week. Vinny shared a story of how he bought a pallet of books from a Goodwill. Uh, he built a relationship with one of the workers and they sold him a pallet of books because their book section was overloaded. They had to get rid of stuff. He bought a whole pallet of books and inside of it was a DVD. Um, I forget what DVD it was. We'll talk about it in the video, but he sold that DVD for two fifty. He paid a hundred for two pallets and then everything was profit. Like who here loves to buy a huge lot of items and then you sell one of it for like 5X and then it's all gravy. I love that. Bradley says, I scored a Ralph Lauren purple label shirt for a hundred bucks. Ooh, I love the Ralph Lauren purple label. I bought it at a thrift store for six, flipped for a hundred, almost passed up on it. But I remember Rakin mentioned purple label one time. So I went back and bought it. That's it, you know, giving back to the community. And, you know, it's funny, all these stories you were sharing about me helping you guys, I can't take the credit. I didn't invent this stuff. I learned from other YouTubers. I learned from other people on Facebook. I learned from experience. And uh, yeah, the purple labels are where it's at. Are there any items we should save that will be worth more in the future? Um, man, there's a lot of stuff that will be worth more in the future, especially toys. A lot of toys are going up in value. Um, man, really anything like... I don't have anything specific to say right now. Clothing, some of the vintage stuff goes up in the future. Um, like N64 games, vintage games. Um, you guys tell me, what are some things that you're holding on to? For me, I just like to flip my items now, make my money. And then for the long term, I like to put my money in index funds and real estate, uh, crypto. So those are the things that I invest in long term. Bozo the clown says, found three bags of horses today. Don't hear that phrase often. Were they briar horses? Briar horses are awesome items to flip on eBay. Marcellus has been seeing more resellers than ever before. And that trend is going to continue, especially with everything post pandemic. People are trying to make money online. People are struggling for income. You know, the, the stimulant plans aren't really coming out as much. I mean, the, uh, the unemployment Hopefully we we'll start ending soon. Uh, people can get back to work and uh, people are going to be looking for side hustles. So the thing about being a reseller is you always have to be growing, learning new platforms, learning new products, learning new ways to build relationships. Um, you know, one of the, the live streams I did earlier was with my buddy. He sold $33 million wholesale on Amazon. Building up a wholesale business is huge. Start adding wholesale accounts to your business. There's so many things to do, but you know, if you're only sourcing from thrift stores 
and you're complaining or not even complaining, you don't sound like you're complaining, but if you're like, oh, there's more and more people, you're getting frustrated, it's not going to stop. You've got to continue upping your game. Um, Mary says, my son has hero quest in his closet. He and I really need to discuss whether he really needs it anymore. <laughs> Is it complete? If it's complete, you're looking at a couple hundred bucks plus. I started selling toys part-time 2019. Uh, during the last year, I lost my job. I do eBay selling full-time now. Toys are cheap investment and big profit. Yeah, if you haven't watched any of the toy videos on my channel, watch them. There is, there's literally like a, a bachelor degree worth of information that Vinny and I revealed for free on the channel. So check out those videos. Mary says, I love vintage crafts and stationery. What's stationery mean? I'm running out of breath. Whoo. Tamara says old Bagley's musky lures. I don't even know what these things are. Ocean lures, spinner baits, Rapala, Bojacks, old fishing reels, fly fishing, anything. Creels bags, folk lures. It's amazing how many lures are out there. I need, you know, I'm going to take a picture right now with my phone of this comment because I'm actually going to do some research on this and maybe I'll do a video on it, learning some of the things I discover. Uh, Mary says stationary, like writing letters. I was around before the internet. <laughs> yeah, right. It's millennials, man. Don't know anything about the stationary. Interesting. That's another thing that I would love to learn more about. Sebastian says, yes, anything that kids like today will definitely be worth more money in the future when they have money and nostalgia factor kicks in like the Pokemon cards, right? Nancy says, love selling books on eBay and Amazon. So yeah, I'm already learning about a ton of new items as well just in this video. So hopefully you guys found value in this video. If you did, do me a big favor and smash that like button down below. And uh, again, drop a comment. Let me know what are your favorite items to sell? What have been a couple of the items that have sold really well for you? And with that being said, I'll see you in the next video. Keep on picking and making that money. Go make it happen. Bye.